Welcome back for another game. We have Retribution with Byron against Arcadius and Minions. And he's playing in Will Work for Two Will Work for Food. <laughs> so they all have plus two speed on their very first turn and they're gonna get up the board quite a bit. The Arcadius player is going first and he's bringing a lot of pigs and the meat thresher. So his turn one, he's gonna run up. The meat thresher is gonna go straight on ahead into that forest. And everything else is going to get postured pretty much around that objective so that they have a good access to the field. He has two ways he can hand out ghostly in this list, so the house and the water actually work quite well for him. And I'm going to do the same. Well, once he gets up to that middle spot, I, um, I don't want to just give him my whole army because he has overtake as a theme benefit and he has two battle boars that have overtake, or sorry, berserk. And with crippling grass, there's a chance he could just mulch through a unit and a half of halberdiers and a bunch of other stuff. I, I just don't want to take that risk. So what I do is that unit on the left, I spread them out in a good position so that nothing's going to really chew them to pieces. And if he does go into that group of halberdiers, it's really easy to collapse. His unit on the right is going to kind of... Um, advance up with a few sacrificial pieces, and then I'm setting up uh, an anti-bulldoze uh, set of models where they're one's in front of the other, so if he tries to bulldoze it and get deeper into my lines, he won't, he'll stop once he hits the other guy. And that way, at most, he's only getting like three or four guys. Then the unit in the middle, they're just going to be my sacrificial unit. Keep my Helios, Thyron, uh, Feynice, Carthusian, AFG back. I'm also going to throw out some rough terrain at random with the AFG in the middle, since he does only have two unit, two things of ghostly, it might as well make it a little bit more difficult for him. And that's what that looks like. I got really lucky with my rough terrain deviations. Here's that little bulldoze stopper. Those two halberdiers that are like that, um, if he tries to bulldoze the one in the front, he'll stop when he hits the guy in the back. So that's the roughly the position that the meat thresher can get to. And yeah, all my unit attachments are pretty well hidden and far back in somewhat safe spots. The uh, Fate Knight Scareth Izian is guarding two of them since the Meat Thresher does have guns. And the uh, Shield Guard Pigs, the Valkyries, also have guns. So his turn. <laughs> it's so hard playing against Arcadius. Also note that all my Halberdiers on that front row are out of his frenzy range. So if he pops his feet to frenzy as his first activation, he's not going to kill a bunch of free models and then dig deeper. There, that's how I dis determined my line of engagement was just outside of his frenzy range. And I'm completely fine with him not popping feet here. If he doesn't pop feet, then Helios can start dragging models in one at a time wherever his Valkyries aren't guarding. Um, or I have things that can charge. He doesn't have any range, so a lot of those halberdiers are going to get charges and possibly kill something. So there's there's definitely that. What he ends up doing, and he wants the assassination. I just have too much meat for him to chew through as long as I spread out and control his battle boars and play correctly. So he wants to get to Thyron. He can hand out ghostly, have that uh, warhog right there. Frenzy over here to the Halberdiers. And then once they're at that Halberdiers with Ghostly, it can charge uh, this Halberdier right here because Thyron was specifically put out of range of an overtake, but not out of range of two overtakes. So after he kills the Halberdier on the left, he'll overtake into this Halberdier, and that'll put him right in between Fate Knight Scareth, Izzian, and the Halberdier. Kill the Halberdier, which will leave room for a landing spot for him to overtake the Thyron. Then that will use two of his initials, who will charge, so he'll have four attacks after that. And one of them is Gore plan is is to boost to hit the gore has not crit knockdown knockdown thyron and then buy um two attacks into thyron at p plus s20 and thyron's only a 16 because storm rager's there and he's on a two camp so there's actually okay odds of doing it um hitting the boosted hit um gore that is also a knockdown on the crit that's the big key to the plan it's not the greatest <laughs> idea. I mean, it's like a, what is it, like a 40% or a 30% or something like that. But he goes for it. 
uh, that's that's the start of how he does things, and he misses the actual boosted Igor attack. He needed a seven, I believe, because he was primaled, and he did not get it. I think he rolled a six on three dice. So Thyron reposted, did some good damage. He buys another attack. He misses it. Thyron reposts, but Thyron misses. And then Storm Ranger should have been on him. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought he was just going to be safe there, and I'd rotate it to him next turn. Um, and then he hits, puts one attack into Thyron and does about um, six damage to Thyron after the shave. So that's that. Helios has Poltergeist and Repulsor field up. So this Warhog over here comes charging across after, you know, he does his... He does his frenzy thing, so everything gets up the board. Uh, that's how he starts things off. And then, oh, before that, he had one Battle Boar activate and go out and put Primal up, so that way you could use Maltreatment to take a Fury off of it. That's a little strategy used. He always has something go before all the frenzying begins. And that way it also loses its uh, Fury. Crippling Grasp went on this unit in the middle, and um, yeah. Some stuff happens, like that uh, that pig with a flamethrower gets to right about there and takes a shot at Thyron with the spray. Um, and Thyron is knocked down because he hit with a critical hit on the gore um, for his last attack that did some damage to Thyron. Doesn't, uh, doesn't do a whole lot. I think it's like two damage through the shave. Um, he's still looking for this assassination run. The Warhog that's over here ended up getting into Helios and couldn't get to Thyron. It did maybe a third of the damage into Helios because it didn't have forced evolution on it, which was the spell that gave uh, yeah, that Warhog a lot more strength in defense. Yeah, the Meat Thresher could have gotten shots onto Thyron, but it didn't have anywhere it could land that would have good shots. And I'm taking a lot of time talking about this turn because this is pretty much the turn that set up the rest of the game. The Meat Thresher ended up coming up and hitting uh, those three Halberdiers that I gave away. And then it rolled three for its uh, D3 plus one shots. And these Halberdiers over here were crippling grafts from our Arcadius. And he just shot down four of them because they were defense 11. And yeah, yeah, he just shot down four of them. So the board will now look like this. There's a Warhog, there's other Warhog. Here's the Meat Thresher. A lot less Halberdiers in the middle. And pretty much everything is served up on a platter for me. So it's going to be my feet turn. Iron's going to kill that Warhog. And uh, Helios is going to move some stuff around, kill that other Warhog. Then Halberdiers are going to go crazy, killing a ton of stuff. AFG and the Halberdiers on the right. I'm going to do the Halberdiers first and see if I can kill the Meat Thresher. If they can, AFG will shoot some other stuff. If not, it's just going to finish off the Meat Thresher. That's the plan. And I'm just I'm just straight up trying to kill stuff and score some points on Scenario. However, I can't get any of my pieces into the zones to score Scenario because he's pushed the lines into my face and nothing scored by infantry. So that's what I do. I just kill a bunch of his stuff. He ends up scoring one on this flag over here. Uh, that was a misplay by me. I should have put a halberdier with a reposition over there. It was a feet turn, so with sidestep and reposition, there's no reason for me to not get over there. But yeah, Thyron's backed up a little bit. Everything's all cleared out. Meat Thresher's dead. And this... <laughs> so when you're dealing with Berserk and Overtake, um, what they want is a line that they can walk down. So rather than doing that, I repositioned all my halberdiers into it, so I know that it has nowhere else it can hop to to get across to a new spot. It's going to be stuck there, essentially, in that little K group of halberdiers that I created. So that's what it does. It eats all those halberdiers. This uh, battle boar over here starts chewing through those halberdiers. And feral, um, some of the Valkyries shoot people. This warhog, um, his, his goal is to win on Scenario. A lot of things need to happen for that to happen, though. The objective needs to die. He needs to score that zone, and he needs to clear everything out of that zone. He does kill the objective with some gunshots and crippling grasp on it. He fails to uh, kill this last halberdier right here. Hutchuck ambushes off the side. There's one halberdier in that zone, so no good. He falls a little bit short. Score goes to 3-0. to zero. Um, My turn... 
Oh, and that that's what this looks like. There's that one halberdier stopping things here, and he fell short on this zone over here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue killing a bunch of stuff. Thyron is going to go kill that uh, Warhog over there. I'm going to ignore Hutchuck and put some stuff into him and be annoying. AFG is going to shoot some stuff. And Helios and Fate Knight Scarthasian are going to go kill the Battle Boar. These uh, Halberdiers are going to kill the Battle Boar, kill the Solo on the flag, kill his other Solos in that zone. And hopefully um, I can score that zone. Which, if I'm not mistaken, let's see what I scored here. I scored that flag, and Helios scored that uh, zone over there. So I make it 3-2. to two. And a lot of things are died. Also, that is Hutchuck proxy. So yeah, not looking so good. The game's really winding down. Attrition has really taken its toll after failing the assassination run. Um, and that's, that's kind of how it can go when you play in Darkadius. If they don't get a massive attrition swing, and you just have tons of infantry that can kill them, Halberdiers, I mean, it's, it's really... It's pretty advantaged into him on attrition. Um, Helios and the AFG make a big dif difference for forcing engagement, and the Halberdiers are just so fast. But yeah, um, he decides to go for an assassination. That guy was knocked down because she made a tough check. And the basic idea is activate the pigs, shoot Thyron. Um, Thyron shield guards, try and get the quake bomb on him. Um, shield guards there. Arcadius doesn't have any offensive skills, spells uh, besides crippling grasp, so put a crippling grasp on them. And then have this dude that can do sacrificial strike for an auto hitting POW 16 on Thyron. Um, he, was, he was wishing he had the other one because two of the sacrificial strikes, POW 16s, he's going to sacrifice the Valkyries after they shoot. Would have been great. Valkyries um, missed though, and I, uh, I would have shield guarded the Quake, so he just didn't do it. Um, he was running low on time at this point, minute 54. And he goes for the sacrificial strike and doesn't kill Thyron. And yeah, his clock went over on that, but we just kept playing. And over here on this side of things, it's time to finish out the game. Helios boosts to hit and drags Arcadius right in between that gap. Fainite Scarathizian charges in there, hits Arcadius. He has nothing to transfer to, messes him up really, 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 really good. I think he's on like a box or two. And uh, Fainite Scarathizian repositions out of the way, and Thyron goes in and kills him. And that's game. And I have things sit on the flags and get in zones so I can win on scenario um, potentially as well because I can kill that objective over there and continue scoring that and contest them. And the Arcanist runs and sits on the flag over here, and the AFG runs into the zone. AFG also could have just slam shot at that Valkyrie into Arcadius. That would have made it a lot more reliable. But you know what? It, plenitude of options here. Well, thank you for watching, and let me know if you guys have any questions.